Hello everyone and welcome back to another video today. Yesterday I am sorting out a little bit of the um, stuff that I've got for the tip but I am mainly focusing on painting the worst thing I've ever painted in my entire life. I don't know how I did it the first time because I know I did it with the radiator there and I am definitely definitely never doing it again. I don't care if it gets flipping cracks in the wall and it chips off and it looks like an absolute eyesore. I'm never doing it again but what I'm doing is at the moment sorting through that bag of clothes that I chucked out because it should have gone to the charity shop it most definitely should have and I made a big mistake I just wanted it out of the house I just wanted to get everything out of the house I didn't want so it was out of the way I could focus on getting the house sorted out and yeah I should have done this in the first place and um, I'm doing it now so I'm bringing it back in the stuff that can go to charity is going in the wash and it's a beautiful day so I can get it out get it dry and the stuff that you know obviously is definitely not worth going to show it's got paint on it or it's got rips on it whatever just you know it's had its day kind of thing that is still going to go to the tip i'm also going to be putting that um white unit to the charity shop as well and yeah i just haven't done it and another reason i haven't haven't thought about you know maybe i could just put it in the car is because i need fuel i still need fuel and um i didn't think of it but there we go so the stuff that is dry, all you know, ready to go, I'm just folding it up, pop it in this bag because then it can just go down to the charity shop and someone can make use of them because there's nothing wrong with these bits. That skirt's brand new. That skirt, that striped black on cream knitted one is brand new. I've never worn it. I've literally worn it for a photo and that was it. And that was outside my house. So um, yeah, getting all that all bagged up, I felt quite chuffed myself because I fit it in. Yeah, look at that blue sky. I'm loving it. Thought I'd bring the old recycling bin round and start getting some cardboard and whatnot in there. Yes, I love bringing the bin to the front door and then just open up the front door and just chucking it in. Oh, I absolutely love doing that. So here we go. Boot of the car. Chucking it in. Yes, it looks really nice and sunny. And yeah, it is. But it is quite cold. It's quite cold. So here we are. We are on to the absolute most disastrous thing I've ever done in my entire DIY life let me tell you I painted this well behind this radiator many many years ago and I'm talking probably about seven nine years ago and uh yeah I don't know how I did it because I'm going in with this easy care oh my god it's my favorite paint ever because you can just scrub it you know do all sorts and it it still looks fantastic it's definitely worth paying that bit extra for paint because it's so worth it but anyway yeah here i go obviously i didn't have the balls to do it when i decided to paint this top bit white because um i got to the radio and thought that'll do you know that will do but it doesn't do because it looks awful so what i'm doing is i'm i'm painting with the paintbrush and uh thinking in my head that all's gonna go well all's gonna be fine because look at the job I did before, it was, a, it was perfect, you know? So I can do that job again. Yes, I can. And this time, it's going to be all even, it's going to look lovely, and I'm going to be like, yeah, check out my radio area, you know? You know when you're so proud of something and you're like, I don't know, you get delivery at the door and you, you feel like saying, come check out my radio of paint. It's upstairs in the bathroom, it looks absolutely amazing. Could you imagine? Could you imagine like a delivery driver's face because you're just so chuffed with your own DIY work? Yes, that's how that's that's how I feel. I'm crazy enough to do stuff like that, you know, just for a laugh, as a joke. One time I remember seeing these like they're like Bible bashers going around. You know when you see them on the street and you're like you keep looking at the window thinking, Don't you dare knock on my door? Don't you dare. Anyway, they weren't knocking on doors this time, they were posting stuff and i remember they were coming up the pathway to the front door and i ran to the letterbox and i held it shut <laughs> they tried to put it through and i was like you ain't posting that through my letterbox it was just so funny i was laughing my absolute head off anyway they just kind of left it hanging out the other side of the door and i was like cheeky still trying to get it in my letterbox anyway i'm moving down the radiator and i'm thinking yeah this is getting a little bit tricky now it's getting a little bit tough you know and it and it hurts it really hurts so i thought i'm gonna try these rollers i'm not actually supposed to be popping these in these are supposed to be for my kitchen but you know i haven't got a roller so i'm going with a little plastic you know tupperware container thing and i'm going to give these a go and see if i can get the roller to actually go down 
at the back of the ra the radiator bars, you know, because my my arm just can't do it. Not with the paintbrush. So, oh, I'm excited. <gasps> I'm excited. Yes, I can go up from the bottom and I can go down from the top. Oh yes, I nearly spilled the paint everywhere here. Yes, I did. But I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll, and I'm feeling really excited. I'm feeling really good, singing away to myself, and it's working a dream. So, you know, positive positive going forward and I was excited I thought I'm going to this done in no time because these rollers are flipping amazing I'll go into detail with them another time but these are amazing they're so soft you know the paint's going on a dream yes and what happens I can't get to the middle I can't I've tried my arm is literally killing me I just can't do it and I'm, my elbow is hitting the paint that I've already painted so I thought I've done this as much as I can at the top I'll do as much as I can at the bottom going up and then what I'll do is I'll start painting the, the second coat you know but this is what I'm dealing with look at it it's a pain in the blowing ass you can't get your arms between the bars it's too thin you can't get the paintbrush between the bars it's just hell it's hell that I never want to endure I mean what in the fresh hell am I going through? Tell me why I put myself through this absolute hell. But anyway, second coat's going on at the top and um, kind of blending with my cardigan, you know. The whole time I was doing this, I kept thinking, maybe I should change my shirt because I'm wearing my George Ezra shirt and I shouldn't be wearing it because I flipping love it. And not one second did I stop to do it because I was so focused on getting this done. You know when you get it in your head, you're like, I'm going to do it. I'm bloody doing it today and I'm getting it done yeah i was in that mindset yeah but here we go putting on the second coat of the upper bit was going on a treat it was going on brilliantly i could get under the bars you know there was room to maneuver and i'm loving it because i'm certain that i'm gonna be out of here in no time getting my cup of tea and having a bit of lunch you know so trying to get the roller around as much as i can I'm not too concerned about the bars at the back there i do keep wiping the bars with, uh, with my cloth because I did get a little bit on the bars every now and again because these bars do curve as you can see but here we go going down what in the sweet Jesus is this this is torture it was torture I couldn't take much more it was killing my arm it was killing my back I was getting my arm stuck and yeah but it goes on nice look nice coverage look at that so pretty really impressed with that yes I am but in we go again, trying again, getting down there. When it gets a bit tighter, it was not pleasant, let me tell you. I haven't, I'm not even using the rolling tub anymore. I'm just putting the roller straight into the paint. I'm just so desperate. I mean, look at that face. I am, I'm like, why? Why, for the love of God, am I doing this? Ah, yes. And breathe. But it did take a long time. Like, I wouldn't recommend this to anyone. Like, if you've got a radiator like this and it needs painting, look at ways of taking it off. I'm pretty sure you can do it. I don't know how, but I'm pretty sure you can do it. It would be a nightmare. My arm was killing me. I was quite angry. I was annoyed. I was very, very annoyed at this point. Ah, <sighs> all these ideas we have. You know, we have these ideas where I go, I'm going to do this for the house and it's going to look amazing. Yeah. Like, oh, it's going to look so good. I'm going to be so chuffed to myself because I can be like, I did that. I did that. Didn't get no one in. I just tackled it myself. But, yeah when we start doing it it's flipping hell on earth hell on earth but i'm getting a little bit ahead of myself you know with my excitement i'm feeling really chuffed with myself because i've still got the, the lower bit to do with the brush down here yeah i'm gonna tell you a funny little penguin joke actually i always find these ones hilarious why do penguin shopping malls get so busy because the fish fill it <laughs> because the fish fill it honestly i'm not even joking i find those jokes the funniest they're my like, absolute favorite but yeah i've still got to do this floor down here and i've still got to find a way of covering these pipe work because the pipe work because i just don't know but look at that floor still like it i still haven't got any tiles to replace it it peels look it all peels up and then i get into a fixation of picking at it like skin you know you wanted to keep picking and picking it's not good but look at it before yes odd paint you know not complete looking a bit of an eyesore chips on it and whatnot and now oh the worst paint job i've ever done in my entire life and i'm so glad i've done it because i'm not doing it again 
yeah just got to tidy up the old ceiling the ceiling needs painting so i'm not stressing about it too much and yeah there we go one wall complete the other walls could be a different color so i haven't done it but thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one yes